Matthew chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, there's a couple of Bethlehems, in the days of Herod the king, so it can be dated, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now the Mormons say that Jesus was born in Jerusalem, Alma 710. That's the Book of Mormon, Alma 710. So they're Book of Mormon is already defiled the Bible. The Bible says over and over, we read the prophecy last last time. Bethlehem, the house of bread. The same place that you find the, the book of Ruth. I almost said the gospel of Ruth. So when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, and you can check this out, would be Herod the Great, the son of Antipater. Uh, and you can look up the dates all that, study that in the Roman government to get the date. There came wise men, Gentiles, from the east to Jerusalem. Notice, no shepherds. You don't see one shepherd in this chapter. So the nativity scene that you have is anti-Bible. It's anti-scripture. Needs to go in the garbage. Gentiles are coming. Wise men. We three men. It doesn't say three men. It says wise men. we got three gifts we're going to read later. But you know, you're, you're reading into it. From the east, the orient. That part is right. But where from the east? We're not told. How far east? We're not told. To Jerusalem. Well, that's kind of funny because he was born in Bethlehem. The shepherds are in Bethlehem. But the wise men are in the east heading to Jerusalem. Saying. And this is what the wise men are saying in their caravan. It's not just three of them. There's a whole caravan. Where is he? Now, how did they know it was he? Is born king of the Jews. Now, where did they get that one? What about the heathen that never heard in Africa? These are heathen that are somewhere in the east with all the, with all the oriental religions. They know that there's a king coming. They know that it is a he. For we have seen his star. So they are stargazers. They look up at the stars. It can be navigate. It don't have to be horoscopes. It could be navigation. It can be for weather. It could be oh, it's springtime. It's summer. And when they looked up at the sky, they said, "Uh oh, that's one particular star that we have not seen before." No ordinary star. Revelation one twenty. Could have been an angel. And are come to worship him. So they see this star. They know something about the prophecy. And they come. It's almost like they knew when it was going to happen. And I say it's very important in the next few verses. When Herod the king had heard these things. He was troubled. Uh-oh, here comes a king. My throne's in trouble. That's why he's troubled. Someone wants my throne. And he's going to be up the Jews. The Jews are already troublemakers in the Roman government. The Jews to the Romans were a pain in the butt. Constantly aggravating the Roman government. Even with Jesus. Man, you take him. No, listen. You take Jesus. You go by your law. We have no law. And by the laws that we do have, says Rome is supposed to do it. 
Oh, if you don't do it, we'll tell Caesar and, you know, you won't be friends with him. And all Jerusalem with him. Jews, Gentiles. Were troubled at the hearing of the king of the Jews. And when he had gathered Herod, all the chief priests, they knew. How come the chief priests weren't looking? How come the chief priests didn't seek? They knew what the scriptures were. They knew where it was supposed to be. Why didn't they ever have an outpost in Bethlehem? Get a Levite who's not a priest. Because all priests have to be Levites, but not all Levites are priests. Why didn't they get a Levite and say, all right, we're, you're going to do a tour duty in Bethlehem. Well, what am I going to do, sir? You're going to watch for a virgin to give birth to a baby. Okay. Yeah. It's, don't you think if they would have been watching, don't you think God would have gave them a sign like he did for these wise men? They were watching the stars too, you know. The scribes and people together, and he demanded of them were Christ. Ooh, look what, look what Herod said. Not just king, the Christ. It was known that Jesus was coming. Not Jesus, but the Messiah. It was in the books. It was in the scriptures. The Roman government believed more about the Messiah coming than the Americans. He says, you go back and get those scrolls and find out where this Messiah is coming. That's what, that's what he meant by Christ. Your Messiah has come. Where? When? How? And we know why later. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for this is it for this for thus it is written by the prophet and this would be Micah 5 2 and I believe you go back to Micah 5 2 you find out they cut it short they didn't give Herod the whole entire scripture of course not and in Bethlehem in the land of Judah notice that's three times one Bethlehem of Judah uh, where we just read it. Bethlehem of Judah. I thought we read it three times. Five, Bethlehem of Judea. Oh yeah, and six, Bethlehem and Judah. Look, look how that showed up. Three times. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And not the least among the princes of Judah, the cities of Judah. This is a little tiny little city. It's the only place of Ruth and the birth of David and the land of David and out of thee shall come a governor capital G uh, that's not found in Micah 5 2 they lowered Jesus Christ their Messiah we don't want the king to get mad at us do we that shall rule my people Israel oh, my people Israel so king you, you know you can you can relax there's a lot of other scriptures that can apply to this king. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, come here, boys, come in my closet. How you doing? No one around? Inquire then diligently what time the star appeared. Tell when the star, when the baby was born. How long they set foot? Probably how far they were too. And he sent them to Bethlehem. And said go and search diligently. I can't say that word. For the young child. Not infant. Not baby. Young child. What time the star appears has been many years. 
and word of uh, women and child and when they have found him bring me word again that I may come and worship him also yeah right sure believe that you know what they didn't believe it either <laughs> when they had heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them uh, this star is now traveling it's moving and it moved till it came and stood over the young child was well that's one remarkable star now I got a question here finishing the chapter and he said to Bethlehem Judea when he asked the chief priests and the scribes your Christ the king of the Jews has been born and nowhere is it written to say that the priests or the scribes or anybody of them went with these guys no one went isn't that interesting they weren't looking for the Messiah like they're not interested in building a temple business must have been good in Rome they could stand before Herod many times they'll stand before Herod in the Gospels and they get their way with Herod if Herod didn't give him any leeway Christ would have never been crucified by the Roman government Pilate gave in to the Jews when they had to, when they had heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the child was and when they saw the star they rejoiced an exceeding great joy there he is I don't know why they just didn't continue following the star instead of running to the government run to Jerusalem unless that star said boy stop here in Jerusalem and tell them I'm here I keep flashing at them but they're, they're, they're not paying attention you imagine, imagine that star like, like you know you're driving down the road in the middle of the night and guys flashing his lights at you you know there's cops up ahead and you just don't pay attention something like that these guys come out of Jerusalem that star is like alright let's go they won't listen you will they won't and when they were come into the house That's not a manger. That's not a farmhouse. That's not where animals slept. They saw the young, not a baby, child with Mary, his mother. Jesus gets first, Mary gets second. And fell down and worshiped him. Not give Mary not one time of the day. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him the young child. Now, can you imagine if it was an infant baby? Here's some gold. No, come on, Jesus, get down your mouth now. Don't give him the mark. Oh, boy, who are you guys? No, he, he's, he's age. He can put his hands out and say, thank you. Opened their treasure and presented him gifts, gold, king, frankincense, priest, Hebrews 7.25, Hebrews 4.10. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other scriptures you can look under frankincense. Myrrh, the suffering prophet. Myrrh was an embalming herb or whatever this myrrh was used for embalming death that's a great thing to give a two-year-old child here have some gold 
Have some incense. And have some death. King, priest, prophet. You know all God's prophets did in the Old Testament? They suffered. You know what the priests did? They had to sacrifice. And the kings from David had the gold. And being warned of God in a dream, there's no written Bible. They couldn't open up to Matthew 2 and say, oh, okay, that's us. Oh, we're supposed to get out. Okay, come on, boys. Matthew 2, 13 says, let's get out of here. And they didn't have that. It wasn't written yet. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not read. You know why you don't follow people's dreams today? Because we have 66 books sealed by the Holy Spirit. I have a dream. Well, if it doesn't match the Bible, shut up. I'm going to set everybody free, except for the insurance companies. Shut up. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod. Don't go back to Jerusalem. They departed on their own country another way. They had to bypass Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is right there almost in the way. So they go home bypassing Jerusalem. The king is waiting word for them. Where's those wise men? Where is he? Where's that child? And when they were departed, behold, here comes the angel of the Lord. He's now two years old. He was in the womb, speaking to Joseph, chapter 1. Now two years old, he's speaking to Joseph. The angel of the Lord is Jesus Christ in the Old Testament, before he became man. Appeared unto Joseph in a dream. Saying, Arise. And take the young child, that's him, and his mother. Notice Jesus came first again. And flee into Egypt. Now, isn't that God? That's God, isn't it? That's God in Mary's arms. And they're not told to take up arms. They're told, get out of here and go to Egypt. That's a place that God kept telling them not to go, not to go, not to go. And before God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I'm the chief. And be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child that will. Those wise men not returning give Herod anger and bitterness. I don't know, maybe he did really want to worship the child. But the angel warning Joseph, I doubt it. Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. To kill, to slay. Revelation 12. The book, uh, book of Exodus, chapter 2, is it? 1 or 2, where all the babies are being killed. <clears throat> when he, that be Joseph, rose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And that's funny because God kept telling the Jews, don't go to Egypt, don't go to Egypt, don't go to Egypt for why? Don't go to Egypt for horses. Don't go to Egypt. Joseph, take that child and go to Egypt. And was there unto the death of Herod. So you can date that. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt, Hosea 11.1, 1, Have I called my son. Um being a note. So the first place Egypt shows up in the New Testament in the gospel is where God says, bring my son. And when you bring my son, bring him out. And Jesus never goes back to Egypt. 
Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked, well, look, look at that mock. Mark is like, nye, 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 who do you think you are? Nye, nye, you got a big nose. Nye, 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 nye. You think you're right and everybody else is wrong. You think the Bible. That's not the guy. The mock was. They didn't adhere to my judgment. They didn't adhere to my words. They disobeyed me. Was exceedingly raw. And sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. And in all the coasts thereof, just make sure you get them all. Exodus. Just lost my From two years old and under. Well, there you go. Jesus was approximately two years old in Matthew chapter 2 when the wise men show up. I don't know why you put him in a, in a, in a, a manger swaddled. He's two years old and under according to the time which he had diligently acquired of the wise men look at verse 7 what time did the star appear now did it take the wise men two years to come if that star showed up when Jesus was born they came from far away with a two-year journey or has it just been two years? And under, according to the time which he was diligently acquired of the wise men, then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy, that would be Jeremiah the prophet, saying, uh, this is Jeremiah 31 15, in Ramah, it's a Benjamin city. The son of Rachel. Benjamin was the son of Rachel. Was there a voice heard? Lamentations. That's what Jeremiah wrote. And weeping. Jeremiah is called the weeping prophet. And great mourning. Rachel weeping. That's kind of funny because Rachel died while she was giving birth to Benjamin. She had just enough time to name the boy Benanmi, I think it was. Or another name. Yeah, Benoni. Benoni, something like that. Then she dies. But here, Rachel's likened to the entire area of Benjamin. That's his mom. So even though she dies in, in childbirth, God reckons Rachel still the mother of this child and all his offspring, his great 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 grand grandchildren in this city that should be Benjamin. His mother weeps for her children as they're being slaughtered. And, and I don't know where to go with this, and I don't want to say anything else, but. Does Rachel know what happened? Rachel reaping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not. Not what? Genesis 42, 32. Remember they kept saying Joseph? Joseph was not. What not? Joseph was not. What not? Well, we told them they were dead, but we really don't know what happened to them because we sold them. So here's another prophecy fulfilled that no one probably knew the 48 prophecies of Jesus Christ. Rachel would be weeping for her children. Or is it just figurative? That here's the mother of, of Benjamin and all the children of Benjamin. And if she was there, she'd be crying. You know how many Jewish mothers wept in, in Exodus 1 or 2? When the babies were thrown into the river and killed? plenty but when Herod was dead behold an angel an angel an angel of the Lord appeared in the dream to Joseph in Egypt and there's one of the hey, you don't look like the ones that have been appearing to me Shh, I'm asleep I said to the Lord I don't know just 
saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. There's your Exodus, the book of Exodus of Jesus Christ. Joseph be a type of Moses. Take the child and get out of Egypt and go to the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child's life. Wasn't the ones that sought Moses, weren't they dead when God said, okay, now go? And he arose. Notice how Joseph obeys. And took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus, 23 BC to 18 AD, this would be the brother of Herod, did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither. Understandably, I mean, father like son, son like father, maybe he's going to, notwithstanding, be warned of God in a dream. This time of God. God speaks to Joseph this time. In a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. Now this is where Jesus comes from, Galilee. And he came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. I'm checking this one. And there's no direct prophet name. Oh. But one of the prophets in the Old Testament said this. And we don't need to be told who. He shall be called a Nazarene, not Nazarite. The big difference in spelling. And some will run you to Isaiah, but... Judges 13, 5. Because I got Isaiah 11, 1. And that's the only note I got in that one. But one of the prophets said it. It just doesn't have to be recorded. You find in the Bible, too, that uh, Paul says, Jesus says, Blessed is better to give than receive. You couldn't find nowhere where Jesus said that. He must have said it to Paul personally and not written down until Paul said it. So there goes chapter 2. It shoots down the nativity scene. It shows us a date and time of Jesus. And if you were to go and speak to Antipater, whatever his name is, Herod the Great, he will tell you, yes, Jesus Christ was born, and yes, he is the Christ. Matthew chapter 2. And notice too, none of the Israelites, none of the priests, none of the Levites, none of the scribes cared nothing of the event. Isn't that remarkable? Wait till you see when, when they when they show up. Next time they show up, they're giving John the Baptist a hard time. That's the next time you see the, the priests and Levites and all that. And I don't even think they go themselves. They send a bunch of ambassadors. So, that's the moral decay of Israel when Jesus comes. They're not even looking for him. They don't care. <laughs> 